Well, here we are again for another more news from nowhere. Um, how are you, Paul? I'm OK, Johnny. How are you? I'm not so bad. The NHS wages and the MPs' uh, wages, have you heard about that? A little bit. Um, yeah. F- fill us in there, Paul. I mean, what... what, um, what... Well, um, well, apparently the, uh, the NHS, uh, you know, nurses and doctors have had like a, a menial uh, increase <laughs> of wages. And then the politicians decided to give themselves a hefty uh boost to their wages and so it's like a, i think it's like something like that that's like 16 percent almost like a pay rise mm-hmm. i think it's something like that it's it's bigger than than the nhs and uh there's funny, lots of uh, funny comments about that uh go around on uh, social medias and uh yeah and here's one now there you go all oh, right yeah yeah i mean i mean i, I mean you know that maybe they're entitled to have this big um boost of payment because it must be very hard to lie all the time i oh, mean you know <laughs> i mean to keep up the lie you know it's quite a talent <laughs> yes. Yes. well not a talent just perseverance i think but <laughs> but you know it, it must be hard work really bless them bless the politician to be that corrupt constantly <laughs> exactly. you, know, you know when i was a kid growing up there was like a game of like yes no you're not allowed to say yes or no to questions <laughs> i bet there must have been masters at that yeah yeah you know, you often see like a a, a presenter on some like news night or something. They're trying to get them to say yes or no mm. to, and then they can't do it. Mm. I do that. There is one subject on everybody's lips today, and they want to know why the police were called to your house in the early hours of Friday morning. <laughs> uh, thank you, Ian, and thank you very much for uh, your your kind remarks and your in your generous uh, introduction. And thank you, all, everybody, for coming along to the, the, these first and most important. Uh, uh, hustings that were going to be- and we delivered cuts in With crime, respect, as I you're said. completely we've avoiding delivered. my question. Uh, well, I've, I've told you I was, going to, I was going to tell the good folk who have come here about... You asked about my character. ...question, I will move no, on. No, no, no. Does, does a person's private life have any bearing on their ability to discharge the office of Prime Minister? Well, uh, no, I, I, I look, I, I've, I've tried to give my answer pretty exhaustively. I think what people want to know is whether I have the determination and the courage to deliver on the uh, commitments that I'm making. It's, no. it, it's funny to me. It makes me I, laugh. I mean, there's a little kind of, I suppose, a link onto that. Um, I mean, it's obvious that when Boris goes on and anyone goes on, they're, they're kind of like... They're prepped beforehand. They're probably rehearsed and everything, and you know they're given, they're advised how to, what to say and how to say it and everything beforehand. I mean, I know. Um, I mean, Julie pointed out to me when we watched one clip of Boris. He, when he points, he always does that with his thumb, mm. so he doesn't yeah. do that, and it's mm. so it's not as intrusive. It's more yeah. polite, so he mm. can put his nasty comments, you know, to, and make it more like instead of going. Uh, it can so it's more it seems more friendly so it goes through more like acceptable you know mm-hmm. so we take it in. it's all psychological it's there's a lot of psychological thing the way they deal with it, the way they prep it the way they run through it oh, it's yeah. you know mm-hmm. yeah it's very professionally done it's you know and you don't just you know have a sheet ready and camera and wish for the best it it's all been every folk everything's been meticulously so it mm-hmm. gives the effect fully what they want you know yeah and it's uh, it wouldn't surprise me that uh like boris johnson has been on like um the northern icons what was it called um, was on, um, have i got news for you that well, I got news for you that's yeah. it yeah he was on it for many many uh episodes i'm thinking like i think he was just basically just drip, drip fed to people thinking mm. like oh he's such a lovely character he's funny yada yada yeah. yada but really He's just a, a player, not a player, yeah. but he's just a puppet of people that's telling him what to do still, in my opinion. Might be wrong, but that's... I, I, I agree with you. I mean, it, it, his character um, has been kind of primed for a while, hasn't it, up to leading to being a PM. I wonder if that was kind of leading into what we've got now. Because, yeah. I mean, when you look at Boris as, you know, you dig a bit deeper into his character, it's a lot different to what the public character is. 
Oh yeah, and he's quite. He can be very mean. He can be very. You know, he's. He can be racist. He can be all. You know, he's really. Oh. Full on. You know. You know. There's. I've, whether it's true or not, but I've read a lot of reports about. You know, he's been. You know, sexist to women. You know, we talk about Trump being like that, but there's accounts of him being. You know, arrogant and all this. But, okay. But the character he puts forward is a kind of a buffoon, isn't he? A bit like kind of. You know, a bit daft, a bit clumsy. You know that kind of character, and I think that's just a, just a front. You know, yeah. so so we don't hit on him too too much. Exactly, <laughs> so it's like a, a little bit. You know, it's like a uh, the uh, philanthropist. I can't say that word. Philanthropist. Phil, Phil, you know Phil. Phil the trampolinist. <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> pointed at you. Sorry. Oh, oh yeah, the Boris. Yeah. I'm not, I don't feel as threatened then, you see. Oh, that's good. That's good. Well, I'm more likely to accept whatever you say. Well, I'm going to come from the kitchen and saw you out in the living room in a minute. Oh, oh that's lovely. You see, it works. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, anyway, what, what were you saying? We've got a bit to distract ourselves there. Eh? Um, anyway, Bill Gates would basically say that he is a one of them. Phil. And then, uh, yeah. And then Phil. he will then, um, ah? Huh? Is a Phil, yeah. A Phil. But then, then he will basically do other things like uh, he wants mm. to like make meat, not really meat anymore, and yeah, yeah I've seen that, yeah, all sorts of things. Mm. That's not a pill, in my opinion. <laughs> no, <laughs> Phil the trampoline. It isn't. No, you're right. Not... It isn't. Yeah. yeah. No, but I, I mean, I think through history of these <laughs> Phil Trump trampolinists, <laughs> uh, you know, I mean. Um, Oh, I can't think of names. I'm getting terrible names, you know. Um, Rockefeller, that's it. Um, the old Rockefeller chap. Yeah. Um, I mean, he was. He did a lot for charity, didn't he? he and it was all very kind of like, and and for health, it was all very public publicised. But it was all money driven. Everything was about money and power, you know, underneath. Yeah. And they're all like that, really. They're all like that. Oh, you know? Yeah. All the all big, big billionaires. Yeah. Yeah, we care about is like being in the one big club, and we're not in that. Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. And people fall for it, don't they? People, you know, I mean, not as many now. I think a lot of people are quite suspect of, of Bill Gates now. I think you know, even those that aren't fully wo- awoke or a little bit aware, you know, wary of him, <laughs> you know. But you still get people who are like, yeah, he's a good guy. He's a good mm-hmm. guy, you know. He's, he's looking out for us. There's still people like that. What's going on? <laughs> I know. But, well. You know, media. If you, you can like control the uh, narrative, then you can yeah. control the, the actual story, can't you? Yeah, and we can see it. They're doing it right now. You, very plain, just with the the Meghan and Harry thing. You, you can see how they're playing it. You see how they're focusing it into that race thing. Focus it down, and then play it into the people. And what is everyone talking about? But that at the moment, it's just. Yeah. It's like it seems so easy. You know, the people who were in been, the program. It yeah. must be easy for the media to, for the most people, to program them. Oh yeah. It's like, <laughs> yeah. It's, I mean, as David Ike said, it's press enter kind of thing, <laughs> and that's what it is. Program press enter in people. Yeah. Oh, Megan, it's God. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, Johnny, where's your guitar today? Um. Oh, it's in the other room. Shall I go and get it? Uh, actually, time. It's. I think we've gone too much already. Sorry. Uh, Shame, yeah, shame. Oh, next, next time, time. Next, next time, yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> right, so we better wrap it up then. It's been a lovely yeah. little talk again. I'm um, getting a few things out there, just off the cuff, you know, unscripted. We're unscripted, aren't we? We just we just talk and babble on any old owl. <laughs> it's sort of like middle of the week uh, instead of uh, you know instead of on Saturday or Sunday, middle of the week. It's, it's also quite nice sometimes, isn't it? Yeah, we. I mean, we don't follow rules. We don't, you know. We don't have to always be on a Saturday. It's whenever we feel, whenever we blooming well feel like it. <laughs> but not the night even. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> right, so that's it. That's All it right. for another edition of more news from nowhere. So uh, in a few days, we'll um, have another few topics to talk about. Just you know, rabble on about. So um, I'll leave you to it then, Paul. All right, Johnny. Well, have a good night. And you as well. And to everyone else. And everyone else. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.